Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Evelyn, and I am back with another Get Ready With Me. Listen, I feel like I'm in a season of content creation, content creation, content creation, because I'm getting ready to film a video training um, for my for my company um it's this training about like how to go from being um, a corporate employee to a culinary entrepreneur and um I, again this is something I've done, that i'm probably going to be using for a while so i figured i'd bring you along to do my makeup i feel like the background in my video changes every <laughs> every time because i'm really trying to find the best way to be able to film very easily without it being like this elaborate setup. So probably not the prettiest background today, but this might be, cause it's so bare right here. Like I feel like it's just so bare, but I'm like at my vanity and all my makeup is here. The camera's here, the window's here. Some of this interesting angle, but um, yeah, I thought I would bring you along, chat a little bit. I don't even know what I'm gonna chat about today. Um, I could chat about business, y'all know, which is like one of my favorite things, but I think I wanna chat about just, some stuff going on in life. With all that being said, I am I am getting ready to do my makeup today. I'm going to be using, I believe, the Natasha Denona Biba palette. It's probably what I'm going to be using on my eyes. But I actually washed my makeup brushes, and I wanted to do a whole video about like, ooh, here are my favorite brushes. But I was like, but I want my face to be beat, so I'm gonna have to like do my makeup one day <laughs> without the brushes. Or with something else and then anyway i don't know i let's get into it so um y'all gonna think i do heavy makeup all the time and i don't i just um when i'm filming i that i need that makeup to stay so i'm gonna be using this is my gucci primer i it's growing on me i really like it um you know i think i just had to get used to it my mirror is over here so if that's this is see this is why i need a different setup y'all because I, I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, Gucci primer. And then today, I think I'm gonna come behind that with, um, I bought the Fenty primer, the, 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 the matte primer. Ooh, the cap is broke. Um, We'll see how this mixes with the Gucci, because I know that Gucci doesn't love to work well with everybody. And when I am filming and it's gonna be under lights, and windows and cameras i like to really double up on my primers in the areas where i know i get the oiliest which is like i get oily all over i've said this before but really in my t-zone so okay oh that pair well together okay so for foundation last time i used my essay daughter S wow Last time I used my Estee Lauder Double Wear today, I'm going to be using my Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin. This is actually my favorite foundation of like all time. Um, and the shade I wear is 33. It's a perfect match. Um, I talked about this foundation in my um, birthday luxury beauty haul where you can actually order sample cards. I think I have, do I have the sample cards here? I still have some sample cards, right? Um, you can order... Y'all hear all that rough, rustling and tussling? Um, you can order like these little sample cards for like a couple of dollars, which I think every brand should do. Like that should be industry standard at this point. So you're not wasting money um, on whether or not you like a formula. So I'm just gonna do one pump, right? I, I again, I don't like a heavy base. I should do a video on my foundation collection. So, um, so. You know, clean brush, y'all, okay? Now, it looks a little orange, but it's, I promise you it's not. When it sets in, baby, this color and this finish. There's a there's a, a special technology in this foundation, I believe, where it, it like once it is on the skin and sets in, it, it kind of creates like this layer of mesh over the skin, which gives it this very filtered look okay and yeah i think i found a solution for pulling my hair back when i'm filming so i do still have my scarf on which is why it's sliding back a little bit but this is the um grace allay i guess like cap or whatever but my scarf is let me do this my scarf is still underneath here holding my hair down but i feel like this looks better <laughs> 
and I can wear this in, in any video. So look at how beautiful that looks. Do y'all see that? Okay. I really need to order a new concealer, but right now this is the Estee Lauder. I probably, you know what I'm gonna do? This is so random, but when I get ready to do the description box, cause I always link the products down below. Like if you don't lay out what you used in the, um, and you have to go back and watch your videos. And sometimes it takes me 45 minutes to do my makeup. And so like I'm editing and it's, you know, trying to reduce it down. It's like another hour, hour and a half just to get all the links together. So I'm going to leave everything that I use on my vanity desktop. Okay. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. And I think I talked about this in another video where this is actually the concealer that's my skin complexion, which I feel like is not a popular <laughs> thing. Um, and I don't understand why. I still like to use a brightening concealer but this definitely like y'all my my brushes are clean um this definitely gets rid of like darkness under my eye right because it's skin tone it's a, it conceals right and i think people were using concealer as a liquid under eye highlight which is fine i do that too but like this is great you see that it still looks like my skin um, but I'm using that. So, okay. While we're talking, I'm going to be using my, I just said I need to leave everything out. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to use. So y'all, I have, I've been taking ballet as an adult. <laughs> so a little bit of background, but, um, I, um, I have like these self-care systems, if you will. I'm going to get, I, I need to do a whole series on that, but. That's neither here nor there. Okay. This is Pat McGrath's concealer, which is running low and I need a new one. But I started taking ballet last year as an adult. And to give you some context, I've never taken a dance class. Like I didn't dance when I, as a kid or in high school or in college. I mean, I was in a HBCU marching band, but I don't, and I was a flag girl, but I don't think that <laughs> equates to like learning dance techniques. So to start ballet, in my 40s has been quite the experience and the place that I go to I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk about this and do my brows at the same time so I might have to like leave this part out and come back okay so brows are on I've got concealer under the eyes and it's had a chance to set and I'm just gonna blend that out it's so funny because for years on YouTube I was like I always wondered why People be like, I'm going to do my brows off camera. And now I completely get it. If you've got to draw your brows and, and cook them from scratch, basically like I do, <laughs> I totally get it. But anyway, back to, I think I was starting to tell you guys about that I started taking ballet as an adult. And it's been great to have a, a hobby that is not monetized that's not for anybody else it's not to be shared I don't even tell people people have asked me where like I go I don't even tell them because I'm like this is for me only for me you have to find your own you know what I'm saying like what's those old um commercials I'm using my Laura Mercier powder to set by the way those old like I'm talking about from like the the, the early 80s commercials where it was like a man was playing a CD and a dude was like hey man you know that's a that's a nice little CD you got there and he's like nah brother you're gonna have to get your own that's how I am with ballet. And while I love the owner, it's black owned. So I, I like that's just even more exciting to me. And I be wanting to promote her. And at the same time, I'm like, this is for me, though. Like I yes, I am gatekeeping. Is that what the girls call it? I, I am definitely gatekeeping the dance company that I go to. Um, but I give I give them their coins. OK. And so um, I'm just doing my technique where I start the powder down here. And then I build it up so that the bulk of the powder is not like under my eye giving me raccoon eyes. Um, and I get the oilies right in here. But yeah, so um, it's been great to have a hobby because uh, I was telling, I, I tell my clients sometimes, I was like, when you have taken your passion, which for me was food, okay, and you, then you turn it into your profession, you lose your hobby, right? When cooking or whatever you were doing was just a hobby. And then you turn it into your business. It's like, what do you do now? 
And so not that you can only have one hobby. I obviously have several, but like that was probably my main hobby and I turned it into my profession. And so I wanted something that I could do, enjoy, kind of like these YouTube videos. I'm not trying to be strategic. I'm not trying to make a full-time income off of any of that. Um, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder. I probably should just take this like, ooh. I should take, I took that off because it's just it's such a nice cover, but I, I need to take that off because it's bothering me. This is this is yes, this is a foundation, however, video content, right? So we talked about this in my previous video, how video content requires a lot more makeup because the lights and the camera just eat up so much. Anyway, so also, and I think I talked about this in a, a video a couple of years ago about how like you have to figure out what your broccoli factor is. If I can remember to link that video, I will. But it was basically talking about like, find what works for you. And here's the thing. Part of my healthy journey, obviously, is physical movement or exercise, as some people like to call it. I like to call it a movement habit. In this case, it's a movement hobby. And I realized that some people like going to the gym. I do not. I like to move my body. And I found that the best, the way that I enjoy moving my body the most was dance okay um and so now i go several times a week and it doesn't i mean it definitely feels like a workout let me say this i i it is a work out you hear me but i don't feel like i'm going to work out i feel like oh i'm going to dance class right and it's not even like i'm not talking about a dance class like you go to the gym and they happen to have a class that isn't workout class but it feels like dance no it's a bona fide dance class. Um, I'm gonna use this brush today for my for my uh, bronzer, but I'm using my LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer in Worthy Deep. Look at me, look at me having the names memorized because I use it so much. So, um, what I love about it is it's challenging and rewarding, and I haven't even been going a year yet. I think September around that time will make a year and um I have really been enjoying it you know and like probably moving the most I've moved my body since I was in the band in college right so uh and I I like I love that I'm going and like I have no goal like I don't have a goal to be like I'm doing this so I can release this amount of weight or I'm doing this because I want to be a professional dancer it's literally like, this is my hobby. This is playtime for me. And I just happened to be getting an amazing workout at the same time. And like, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that uh, in different areas of my life. So I feel like I do a very light bronzer. I feel like maybe I should do a little heavy bronzer today. I like it to look as natural as a face full of makeup can look, right? <laughs> Um, this thing just want to slide back. Okay. I thought we had a solution. Maybe not. Oh, it has a tie. That this, Why don't Evelyn, why don't you leverage the tie? So let's, it has a little flap here, has a little tie. So let me move it up. I love this though, because it's satin lined. So we're going to see if I tie it, will it stay in place? So that's the biggest thing with all of this. Like, I am definitely not a person that I'm going to do my makeup with my hair in my face. That's just not my thing. Um, I'm always a makeup first, hair second kind of person. Clothing third. Y'all know I got on a makeup dress. Okay. So let's tuck that in there. Let's see how that is. Okay. So we're going to use the Natasha Denona Biba palette. Y'all, if you could see my drawer with all of my eyeshadow palettes in it, I will say this. I think compared to the average YouTuber, maybe I don't have as crazy of a collection, but I've got a pretty decent collection. And I love that for me. I, I was telling, was the y'all that I was telling in one of my videos that, um, God, the stool that I'm sitting on is like crazy loud, like. Y'all hear that? Anyway, that. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Y'all, I'm really trying to get my, I'm trying to get my life together as far as this. 
content creator life. Anyway, but again, it's my hobby, right? I, so I'm not trying to close down my business and become a full-time beauty influencer. Um, but this is one of my hobbies that I have chosen to cultivate. So I'm using the Natasha Denona Biba palette. This has got to be one of my favorite palettes of all time. It is just, I don't even feel like the lighting is doing it justice, but that's what we got going on. That is what we're about to use. I'm about to scoot up because the way this stool is just making all the noise. So anyway, I don't feel like y'all be coming to me for tutorials. Anyway, I feel like we just come to chat, hang out, talk about makeup, talk about life. So that's been ballet. Ballet falls in the same category as me doing these makeup videos. Like, am I going to be doing like the latest? I, let me tell you, when you wash your makeup brushes, are y'all like this? When I wash them and now I don't want to use them. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't want to mess them up. But what I've decided to do is put in a system so my brushes can't get washed weekly. So there's that. Um, let's start with this brush. So, um, what was I saying? So this is like, I want y'all to be able to see it, but I need to be able to see it. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, um, I've, you know, I've been committed to doing these videos. I haven't been super consistent yet because I haven't really put in a system and I'm going to be talking about my systems here in a couple of different videos because like systems is like the mantra of my life right now of this, you know, probably of probably the next couple of years, but, um, yeah, like systems have been everything. And so I, it's because I don't have a, a, a content creation system for this channel, which is why I have been inconsistent, even though I've started, but I'm glad that I'm putting out at least something, um, almost weekly at this point, it may not be the same day and same time every time. Um, but it is something. So I'm excited about that. But I realized that this, you know, just like dance doing this, you know, creating content, whether one of you watches or 4,000 of you watch or whoever is super um, important to me to have a creative outlet that again, you know, my livelihood's not tied to, I'm not pressed about. It's literally like, I just want to chat about makeup and life and womanhood and living with intention and self-care. Um, you know, and do it when I want to and not do it when I want to. So I'm, you, you can see I'm using kind of this kind of like peachy um, color. Again, it's going to be a very, I'm not going to say natural look because it's definitely going to look like I have on makeup, but it's, um, but it's going to be neutral colors, which is, which is my jam. Okay. That's, that's my wheelhouse. Some people call that boring, but I feel like not that there's an age on makeup. I just feel like the days of me doing like super crazy colorful eyeshadow all the time was like 2010. <laughs> I still have color in my collection, but like I said, on a, at any given day, this is where I'm going. So I'm going into another color. Oh, so the color I was using was called Buff. It's that one right there. But now I'm going into Pasha. It's like this color right there anyway so today is actually a thursday i normally film my videos on wednesdays and so um but one of my clients need this is and this is my thursday where i normally where i do coaching calls all day but one of my clients who usually i have in the middle of the day she needed to reschedule so that left me with a little bit of a gap. And so I was like, oh, I'm about to film. Because I didn't film yesterday because I wasn't prepared. You, Wednesdays is, are usually my filming days. That's when I have designated time on the, on the calendar. And I guess I've kind of decided that if I'm going to be filming something for my business, I can at least film a get ready with me while I am putting my makeup on for that, if nothing else. Because um, then the other days I don't be having on. <laughs> be having on makeup. Anyway, so how are y'all doing? Okay, so let me know what habits, what hobbies you have. So I have dance, I have makeup, I also have like home decor as a hobby, and obviously, I mean, food is more like hobby slash business. But like those are my, and music is definitely 
a hobby of mine. It uh, has been for some time. Little secret, okay? I might have kind of sort of been a quasi little DJ when I was in college for the campus radio station. No, I wasn't a DJ. Um, I worked with the campus radio station, but I did used to make a lot of mixed CDs back in the day. That let you know how old I am. And I will say that I am proud that I am responsible for the conception of a lot of children off of my mixed CDs. Okay, so. Shout out to DJ E Love on the ones and twos. Y'all, I'm so extra. I'm also extra with the love, like just the back and forth layering because I feel like I do a lot and it ends up looking like I didn't hardly do anything. And I, 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 it doesn't bother me, right? I like it to look blended and soft and all the things, even though there's a lot of product on my eyes. Can y'all see that? Probably not. It probably looks the same. I still love it for me. So anyway, okay, let me let me carry on. So okay, so ballet as an adult, um, back to do, well, actually embracing the fact that I love beauty as a hobby, um, music, and home decor. Okay. The thing about home decor is though, what's going on with the furniture in the world? Because sis um i'm going in with the color cocoa now it's just a like a medium tone brown i'm kind of going on the outer corner but yeah um i you know here's the thing as much as i love decor like i look at those decor channels and i'm like y'all spending some cash doing decor videos all the time i feel like with me i would probably do decor videos until i finished furnishing my place and then i'd be done and so if you came to me for decor you're gonna be disappointed after a certain point i also feel like you don't have to put everything on the internet like you can have hobbies that are just to yourself um and so you know that's how i am with ballet like it's just for me um but do y'all see how that's getting a little deep probably not it looks great in person though if i do say so myself and i do say so myself listen hype yourself up okay uh, particularly when you live alone like I do. Ain't nobody here to be like, ooh, your makeup look good. I, it look good to me. Okay, anyway. Um, so, that's that. Um, what else has been going on with y'all? Like, okay. So, I watched this video the other day. And this girl was talking about, like, the fall of beauty YouTube. And what's interesting is, like, she was talking about... <clears throat> um all of the drama over the years which is funny is because I never really followed like the big names and beauty on YouTube was never my thing not into it never like <laughs> but I think the main reason I don't necessarily think beauty YouTube is fallen off I think the main reason is we just aged out right I think people who got into it because it was a money-making thing um and it, they really didn't have a love for it aged out and like they're just on to different things whereas i think in, in that way or maybe they were just into it for that season and i think the people that like that i watch that are like in their late 30s in their 40s late 40s in their 50s who still love makeup is because like they genuinely love makeup right like they they are in it for the long haul so i i mean yes i think there was drama but i never was really caught up in that yeah i probably weren't either um and so I don't think it, you know, killed beauty YouTube. I think it just, it's kind of like the real estate market, like things, it's going to be a bubble and then it's going to bust, right? Like I live in Dallas. And so like the real estate here is crazy. By the way, we are closed. Do not move here. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Don't cross the state line. We, <laughs> Texas is closed. And listen, y'all don't want to come here anyway. Because it's a cluster. It's a dumpster fire here. So just don't even... But um, what I was going to say was that, um, what was I saying? Y'all, not that I forgot. I think I was talking about YouTube and aging out and I can't believe that I lost my train of thought. Watch it. When I'm editing, it's going to come back to me and I'm going to be mad. Anyway, I said all that to say that, um, what did I, know, y'all. See, this is why I am going to add this little darker, cooler tone brown to the edges. 
Um, people be like, Evelyn, your makeup's cute. But like, it took me an hour. Anyway, um, but that's because I like it. But oh, I was saying just basically the people who are older, like, you know, they're in it to win it. Oh, like the real estate. There we go. Like the real, <laughs> like I live in Dallas and the real estate, like it's crazy here. Like houses are selling in like four hours, right? Like it's it's insane right here but just like the real estate market like it's not gonna be it's not gonna be that way forever it's going to bust right and i've always been a person that knew that like it doesn't mean that it's going to go back to the way it was but it is going to burst right that this boom that we're having is going to burst and i remember i told a friend this i said the same thing is going to happen with like the influencer in, uh, industry like all of those brand trips that we saw people taking and all of that just like really you know lavish you know experiences that we were seeing around that time um we don't really see that anymore and it's not that influencers are dead they're very much alive and well because influencer marketing is a thing it's just that it burst right the bubble burst uh, for a myriad of different reasons do i want to use this brush it's a very small brush but it's a little fluffier that I want so I think I'm going to use something a little bit more pointed which happens to be a cheaper brush but that's what we're going to do so yeah um that's how oh, I definitely want to do, do I want to do my lid color first no I want to do this so I'm taking Natasha Nanona has this like cream formula um so I'm taking the black it's called spot that's in here I'm taking the black on the brush you probably can see the black on the brush and I'm just deepening this up a little bit further. I'm not a big black eyeshadow user, surprisingly. Even though I know a lot of dark skinned women are. Because, um, you know, it definitely gives you the contrast that you want. But I'm, I'm not really that often. But yeah, so I just think that, you know, it bursts. Just like with coaching, you know, I am an online coach, so to speak. Uh, and, you know, people hopped into that market. And, um, you know, it burst, right? Like, you know, the courses market burst. It doesn't mean those things went away. It's just like if in order for you to remain, you have to or be continue to be successful. You're going to be you have to be one of the people that's really good at it and really passionate about it. Right. Or it's just not going to it's not going to do for you what you think. Right. So. Um, but yeah, so let me know what y'all think about that. I'm just blending it out just to, to, it's a little harsh on this edge right here. So I think we've got the neutral crease, whatever. Now we're just going to go in with the lid shade and I am going to use, I want to use that brush. Yeah, I'm using, this is probably an unconventional brush for, eyeshadow but i'm using this color here called rustic this palette actually doesn't have a lot of shimmers in it but i'm using that one right there it's such a pretty bronzy gold i don't even know how to describe it it's so pretty to me um y'all see that oh it's so pretty but yeah so what are y'all hobbies where do you live i feel like we just have i feel like we've been hanging out together for a long time and we just don't know each other as well as we should, right? Like some of y'all have been here for almost a decade over on this channel. And I just feel like I want to get to know y'all. I want to chat more in the comments. I've been doing better about responding to comments. So that's been a thing. You probably don't know that if you haven't left a comment. And I don't even be asking people to subscribe. Let me tell you why I don't be asking people to subscribe. Because... I'm not going to ask you to dis to subscribe if I ain't going to be consistent. And I'm I'm working on my consistency. Um, What else? Okay, let me ask you this. Have you, were you a previous dancer? Do you dance now? Do you like to work out? Like, what is your movement habit of choice? So that's the eye look. Looks very similar to all the other little eye looks I do. <laughs> so why it took me so long? I don't know, but that is the Beba palette by Natasha Denona. One of my favorites. Oh, don't. Okay. What are we going to do for blush today? I don't necessarily want to do Paradise Venus again by Pat, even though I love that blush. Oh, I could do my Chanel blush. It looks just like Paradise Venus from Pat, except for it's shimmery. Let's do something else. Let's pull out... 
Let's pull out our NARS palette. Ooh, there is a color in here that I want to use. Yes, okay. But I, yeah, no, I like to cocktail. So I'm about to cocktail these blushes together. If it's anything that I'm going to buy guaranteed, it's going to be a NARS blush palette. I just, you put blushes in a palette from NARS for me? Take my money. Okay. So I'm going to be combining together two palettes. So these are the two palettes. I'm going to be using this shade from this palette. It's like a red. It doesn't, it's not as vibrant on the cheeks as you might think um but i definitely want some color today instead of just neutral and then i'm going to come over it with this like shimmery kind of peachy pink color you yeah, know i like to take my blush up you probably like Emily. we can't even see that blush i know but let let it unfold okay let it let it unfold I can see it. I do need it to show up on camera though. But yeah, I want to know like what kind of hobbies and stuff that you're into, or did or do you feel like you've lost your hobbies as you've gotten older? Because I feel like that's what happened to me, and I really had to like cultivate and curate my hobbies. Mm, that's pretty, but I'm a, I'm a chill because I'm gonna put this other color on top. Because one thing about me is I'm a cocktail cosmetics together for the fun, for the fun of it. I told y'all, doing makeup is like cooking for me. It's like all, all the ingredients come together to make a face. Okay, so I'm using this color right here that don't look like much, but it is so pretty. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Right on top. Told you, won't do a highlight, but I'll do a glowy blush now. Mm, that's pretty we love it okay let me leave these out so i can remember that i used both of these blush palettes even though i think they were both limited edition so if i can find them even though they were limited edition i would put them in the description box okay now we need to do Okay, clearly tying this did not work. I think it's because my hair is straight. It doesn't slide when my hair is curly. Okay, we're making progress. Now we need to do eyes and lips. And then we will be done. I figured out why I don't love the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. It's because it's not super jet black and I need it to be like the deepest, darkest black. It almost looks navy blue. And I think maybe if you have a lighter complexion, it works fine as this beautiful black mascara, but because I am deeply and wonderfully and richly melanated, I need it to be black. Okay, I need it to be black. So update, I ended up not liking that Fenty. Um, eyeliner that I use it just y'all I, I really want to like something from the brand and it's, it's it's not it's not doing it for me so I'm going to be using this is a drugstore I don't love this either but so the Fenty was not mad enough this is too mad I, I really realized um some time ago I had a KVD um tattoo liner felt liner in black and it was my favorite. I I should just I should just go buy one of those because oh okay this is the Milani Stay Matte Eyeliner in Black Matte Number One Ten. It's the opposite of the Fenty. The Fenty still looked shiny. This is like super matte, and I don't. I don't love that either. It almost is almost like chalky matte, but I'd rather have this than that. I'm going to do a wing liner today, as I do most days. Um, even though I think in one of my last Get Ready With Me's, I did like a soft, unstructured liner today. I'm not in that mood. I want a fully defined, sharp, 
eyeliner. Yeah, one of the things I will have to say a uh, skills that I've developed over the years is not tugging on my eyes. Listen, all they had to tell me was that that ages you. And I was like, let me tell you who not going to do it. Um, and people probably have better makeup technique than me because they do it. Nope, not Evelyn. Let's get some lash primer on. I realized that I do like this Estee Lauder lash primer, but I actually prefer the... I think it was the Lancome lash primer that I had previously. So, um, and I had it in a sample. So when I run out of this one, this lash primer, cause y'all know I don't wear false lashes. When I, when I run out of this, I'll probably go back to the Lancome. Well, actually that's not true. I've got a Chanel primer. Y'all, I'm so tired of my camera cutting off and me not knowing where it cut off. But I was basically asking y'all, um, do you are you into makeup like do you buy makeup or are you someone that you just kind of have like your little collection or your few necessities and and you only pull it out when you feel it's needed okay 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 we're gonna leave the scarf off we're gonna leave that off. That thing slid straight off my face, off my head. This is the NARS Climax um, mascara. I have a mini of this. I like it. Again, you know, when you have a mini mascara, I can't remember who was talking about this. It's kind of hard to tell because what the experience is gonna be like because you have this little bitty wand but the brush head is the same size. So I don't know how I would feel about this if the the handle was longer and it was easier to use, but this is where we are today. Y'all, oh, so let me tell you, y'all, so I have um, had the idea about starting a podcast about strategic self-care and my systems for a while now and i've even played with the idea of creating a membership um and the reason is because i have this um like strategic systematic sustainable self-care curriculum that i have been teaching my female chefs clients for the past probably since 2018 um and they love it and so I've 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 contemplated. Let me leave that out. I've contemplated um, doing that for people who are not chefs. Obviously, um, even my clients have asked me to offer something like that for people so they can recommend their friends. Um, so I thought about either doing like a membership or like an exclusive VIP day, like where it's one-on-one -on -one and we map out your self-care systems. Because what people are calling self-care on the internet is not, in fact, self-care. I don't know what they're doing, but it's not self-care. It's cute. It's what I would consider self-maintenance. Not that I just clumped up my scare. Okay, well, here we are. Uh, what do y'all think? I don't know if I want to. I don't. I, I know I want to do it. I'm just trying to see, like, is that something that I made up in my head that I want to do that other people are like, girl, ain't nobody got time for that. Or, you know, or it's like, ooh, that would be great. Okay. Because I don't want to do, like, a coaching program. Like, I, that's not what I want to do. But I do want to have a place to share all this curriculum content that I have. I said to leave it out, Evelyn. Leave it out, my love. So that you can do your description box. Anyway, now I just need a lip color. I will say this. I'm going to powder my face with 
um, this Cover FX um, powder in, uh, y'all, it's blurred off. I wish I could tell you, but it's a, it's kind of similar to the Laura Mercier. It's just going to make me a little bit more matte so that when I get underneath these camera lights, um, so I think one of you mentioned, you were like, oh, I love that you, you're, you know, the way you do your foundation, you make it look skin like, I actually like to be fairly matte. <laughs> uh, I like to be pretty matte to be honest. And so I really want to take away any of, of the shine. Cause I know as the day goes on, I will look more natural, but I like to start off matte, matte. Like what, what is happening today? Y'all, pray for me. I'm going to have to go back in and fill that in. But y'all see how this is like literally mattifying the face? I, I like that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, yes. Love it. Lip color. I don't want to do the. Ooh, it's all over. The, this is why. This is, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why. This is why. Anyway, this is why I wear a makeup dress because I just got that brown powder all over my dress. Okay, what do we want to do for a lip color? Because it's looking gray. It's giving. It's giving casket. There is this color from Lisa Eldridge. It's called Velvet Decade. I think I'm gonna do this. It's a matte lipstick. Y'all know I normally, I'm not big on it, but it's like the perfect nude for me. It's like, it's very brown. Let me say that. You see? Definitely gonna need a liner. Otherwise it's gonna look like concealer lips. Now, I have the liner that matches this. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my Sephora liner. Let me put the makeup here, which I sharpened inappropriately. Look at this. I used the eye. <laughs> I used the, um, like, it comes with a sharpener. I did not know that until after I sharpened it. So it gave me this weird, like sharpen effect so i'm just going to use that until it goes down and then i will sharpen it correctly It's giving 90s. It's giving 90s. Which is why, well, and that's why it's called Velvet Decade because it's, it's like referencing the 90s. I think that's pretty. I'm satisfied. I'm gonna like it. Okay. That is the face. The category is face. What do y'all think? I'll be back after my hair is done. All right, y'all. So I'm back. This is the final look. I like it. I've got on my favorite hoop mob earrings, which one, I, it's okay. So I have this friend. I think I can call her a friend. If you're watching Girl Hey, we've known each other on the internet for probably a decade, but we've never met in person. But anyway, she sent me these earrings and they are like my new favorite earrings. They are like, they are the neutral. Like, you know how everybody needs a new lipstick? These are my new earrings. I don't care what I'm wearing. I'm probably going to have these on and they're from the Hoop Mob. I will link them below. Anyway, this is the final look. This is how I will be filming. And so again... A neutral look <laughs> I would not say a natural look because I clearly have on a face full of makeup but um I told you my my signature look is variations on this 
on the same kind of look. It's just, it's just my favorite look. I just, I think it will always be in style for me. And I think it's going to look great in video content. I think the lighting that I'm going to be using is going to be a little less warm than what is happening here, unless I can color judge, which I'm not really good at. But anyway, um, this is what I'm wearing. I just have on like this kind of terracotta wrap dress because it matches my brand colors. And so um, I just wanted something that when I look back on this in a year or two, I'm not like, girl, what was you doing? I mean, I may have that experience, but I would hope not. So this is the final look. Let me know which, what do y'all think? How do y'all like to do y'all makeup? I, I know some people are like barely there makeup people. Some people are like me. It's either there's no makeup or there's like a full face of makeup, right? Like there, this is, I, I like to look like this, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I will have everything that I use down below. I know I asked y'all a lot of questions. So, you know, girl, watch it again. You know what I'm saying? Dialogue with me in the comments. And if you happen to come across this video and you're not subscribed, Girl, subscribe if you like us. Sometimes I might post, it might be random type YouTuber who has a full time business. So, this is a hobby. If you like that kind of energy, <laughs> that's it. Let me take this thumbnail and then I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.